try to understand so what is the meaning of error detection and error correction so and also we are going to learn what is the need of performing error detection and error correction then one more thing where we are going to perform error detection and error correction it means that either we are performing this operation at the transmitter part or receiver part right so before going to perform this error detection and error correction we need to know some basic things one is called as the error detection another one is called as the error correction if you understand this one then concept will be simple so see that here receiver does not know about the information sending by the transmitter so we need to set a mechanism to find out the received information is correct or not as this point of the time you should understand that the error detection and error correction can be performed only at the receiver side right so if you see this diagram you will understand what is the need of performing the error detection as well as the error correction operation suppose see that I have two computers, right? One is at something source side, another one is at the receiver side. Suppose, for example, we know that in digital system everything will be converted in terms of the binary numbers, right? Suppose, for example, this information, something say 1010, I need to send it from the transmitter to the receiver, my source system to the destination system. It may be wide medium or it may be wireless medium suppose see that after receiving the message at the receiver suppose for example let us say that i have received the information is 1010 right now if you compare transmitter receiver both information so same so that we can able to tell that the received information is correct right in this case it is okay but here what is the problem with real time scenario is the receiver does not know anything about the transmitter suppose see that i'm going to send some information right i am not going to really reveal that information some binary value i am sending right it is transmitting through the channel some information is received something let be 1011 is received now important parameter this this receiver does not know anything about the transmitter but what is the thing the receiver has to do is it should be able to identify whether this received information is correct or not right so in this case right there is no possible to find out whether the received information is correct or not because we don't know anything about the transmitter part right so here we are going to learn something called as the error detection and error correction codes by using this we can able to identify even if you don't know what is the information sent by the transmitter you can able to identify whether the received information is correct or not right i hope you understand why we need to implement the error detection and error correction mechanism right now see that uh, what do you mean by error detection means for example uh, we are going to receive some information at the receiver end right so after receiving the information at the receiver end suppose say for example like this information something i send it at the transmitter side the information which is receiving at the 1010 or something so if i can able to tell that the received information is not correct then it is called as the error detection so error detection means only we can able to tell that received information is correct or not right that is what we called as the error detection then one more mechanism is that error correction so what mean what do you mean by error correction means so we can able to identify there is some information wrong at the receiver and also we can able to find out suppose this information is wrong we can able to identify in which location we have the error also that is what we called as the error correction right so to implement this error detection and error correction mechanism we have code something called as the hamming method right by using the hamming method we are going to identify whether the received information is correct or not and also we are going to identify within which place we have the error so if it is zero error means we have only two possibilities right either it may be zero or one right if zero is error means we can able to replace with the one so the correct code is one 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 zero one so this bit we are going to identify whether it is the error and also we are going to correct so 0 to 1 nothing but this this is the correct code word right so this is how we are able to predict means by using of the hamming method we have the different different method but in this class we are going to study about the hamming method operation right so hope you understand what is the difference between error detection and error correction mechanism right now what will be happen means if you are sending the same information alone from the transmitter to the receiver we cannot able to find out whether the received information is correct or not right so for example let us consider we have two types of questions right so for example if we have the two types of questions uh, one is at the transmitter part another one is the receiver part so what do you mean by this is 
सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट टू सेंड दिस मेसेज इनफर्मेशन से वन जीरो जीरो वन इज मई इनफर्मेशन सपोज इफ ऐ सेंड दिस इनफर्मेशन आज इट इस एट द रिसीवर एंड ऐ कैनाट एबल टू फाइंड औट वेदर द रिसीवड इनफर्मेशन इज करेक्ट आर रंग राइट सो फॉर दट वाट वी हेव टू डू इज वी नीड टू एड द एक्सट्रा मेकानिजम एट द ट्रांसमीटर सैड राइट सो बै यूजिंग दिस एक्सट्रा मेकानिजम वी कैन एबल टू ऐडेंटिफाई वेदर द रिसीवड इनफर्मेशन इज करेक्ट आर नाट राइट सो फस्ट वी हेव दि टू टाइप्स आफ क्वेश्चन इन पार्ट वन ओनली यू विल बी हेविंग दि मेसेज बिट वैल्यू फॉर दिस मेसेज बिट वैल्यू वी नीड टू एड समथिंग कॉल्ड एज दि एक्सट्रा बिट वैल्यूज दो एक्सट्रा बिट वैल्यूज हियर इन दिस केस वी आर कॉलिंग एज दि पैरिटी बिट वैल्यू सो विल सी वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पैरिटी वाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ दि पैरिटी बिट वैल्यूज राइट नो वी नीड टू एड द एक्सट्रा बिट सो वन इट इज डन द कांबिनेशन ऑफ दि मेसेज बिट नथिंग बट दिस बिट वैल्यू प्लस दिस एक्सट्रा बिट वैल्यू इज नथिंग बट योर ट्रांसमीटर पार्ट दिस इज द टाइप वन क्वेश्चन टाइप टू क्वेश्चन इज वी डोंट नीड टू फाइंड आउट द एक्स्ट्रा बिट वैल्यू इट इज आलरेडी इंक्लूडेड इन द ट्रांसमीटर पार्ट दिस इनफॉर्मेशन इज सेंड फ्रॉम द ट्रांसमीटर टू द रिसीवर सो हियर समथिंग इट इज द कांबिनेशन ऑफ द मेसेज बिट वैल्यू एज वेल एज द एक्स्ट्रा बिट वैल्यू नथिंग बट नथिंग बट द पैरिटी बिट वैल्यू राइट सो हियर इन द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज दट वी डोंट नीड टू फाइंड आउट द एक्स्ट्रा बिट बिकॉज एट द रिसीवर कोड वी हैव आलरेडी इंक्लूडेड द एक्स्ट्रा बिट वैल्यूज इट मीन्स दट एट द रिसीवर एंड यू डोंट नीड टू फाइंड आउट Again, what are the extra bits to be added? It is already included at the transmitter part. So here, in the second type of question, what is our duty is that if here is there any error, right? Suppose out of these many bits, if any error, we need to find out the error detection. If possible, we need to find out the error correction also. Error detection means only we are going to identify whether this code word is correct or wrong. Error correction means if particular location something is happen, we can replace it with value with the Zero something like this. So this is what we call as the error correction, right? So remember uh, one important point is that as per the given message information you are sending as it is, you cannot able to find out the received information is correct or not. So for that we need to add the extra bit mechanism, right? So and one more point to remember this: that the extra bits are called in case of the Hamming method, those are called as the parity methods. There are two types of the parity methods. So one is called as the even parity method, another one is called as the Odd parity method. So two types. One is even parity. Another one is odd parity. Once we are going into the problem, we will see how to implement even parity mechanism as well as the odd parity mechanism. Right. So we will consider the part one question. Part one question is nothing but only we will be having the transmitter session. So it means we will be having the only message bit value. They will be given message bit value. We need to add extra bits. Those extra bits are the parity bits this is the question one part one will be completed part two is nothing but they will inform you that some code is received you find out whether the received information is correct or not right so first we will complete the part one session once it is completed then we will go back to the solving of the part two of the hamming method right so see that uh, this is one of the question so determine the single error correction code for the information bits or message bit whatever it may be the meaning is the same So as per the given question, what they have given is, they have given the message bit value is that what is that value is one double zero one, right? So this is the message bit value. Transmitter code word is nothing but the message bit value plus extra bits or called as the parity bit value. As per the given question, if you observe here, the number of message bit one zero zero one means this is the four bit value. We know that this value is four. We don't know this value, right? Now here the thing is that in the part one question, we need to identify. How many these extra bits to be added along with this message bit, right? Now these are the things we are going to find out. So before going to start the session means so first we are going to in the given question we will be finding the message bit values, right? So first we are going to identify how many message bits values we have as per the question, and second things we need to add the right we need to add the extra bits, right? So those extra bits we are calling as the Parity bits, right? We need to add. So remember, one point is that parity bits are depends upon the length of the message bit, right? It is depends upon the length of message bit. If length of the message bit is different, the number of parity bits also different. Now, once it is done, you will be finding some message bit value. You will be finding some parity bit value. So out of all those bits, where we need to, where we need to place the parity bits, right? And message bits so you cannot able to place whichever wherever you required if you place the parity bits or message bit at the receiver end you cannot able to identify whether it is error or 
error free right the third point is that we need to find out in which location we need to add the parity bit as well as the message bit value then final thing fourth one what we have to do is so at the step 2 we can able to identify the how many parity bits are required right but in case of step 4 we need to find out right we need to find out what is the what is the binary value of the binary value of the parity bits right binary value of the parity bits suppose for example say i have the three parity bits right let it be p1 p2 p3 for example i have the three parity bits let me be p1 value it may be we have two options either it may be 0 1 that we need to find out At the same way p2 also we will be having the parity bit value it may be 0 or 1 that we need to find out likewise we need to find out the p3 also all right now what are the things we are going to find out is from the given question we can able to identify how many message bit values are there right once it is done we need to find out the how many extra bits to be added that is nothing but our second point next we need to place the what is the location of the message bit as well as the parity bits right once it is done then we need to find out the parity bits value here you may have the doubt why should not i find out the message bit value only parity bit value the reason is that in the given question they have given the message bit value is 1001 so this value we know what is the m1 value m2 value m3 value m4 value we already known value but suppose for example here we didn't calculate how many parity bits are required suppose for example i need p1 p2 p3 three parity bits right so for just for example so we need to identify whether p1 is 1 or 0 either p2 is 1 or 0 or whether p3 is 1 or 0 that we need to find out right so for that we need to find out the this value so after finding it will be a combination of the message bit value plus the three bit value right first bit value second bit value three bit value this is nothing but your transmitter part like first question this need to be sent from the transmitter